I'm going to show you how you can use the GP result command to see which group policy objects are currently being applied to the logged in workstation or server. So the first thing we want to do is open up a command prompt and then run the command GP result dash R. This will return some information about the group policies that are applied to the logged in user. So we can see it's returning the RSOP data for the user account AD backslash Danny. And then if we scroll down a bit, we can see under user settings, it's getting the group policies from my primary domain controller. And then we can also see what group policy objects are being applied. So we can see three different group policies are being applied to this user account. I've got a map drives GPO, a blocked control panel GPO, and then the default domain policy GPO. And then we can also see which GPOs were not applied because they were filtered out or there were errors. So we can see that there's a custom desktop background GPO, which is being denied. And then the local group policy is being filtered out because it is empty. Now, if the user account that you're logged into isn't a local administrator, this command is only going to show the user GPOs and not any of the computer GPOs. So if you want to see what group policy objects are being applied to the computer, what you have to do is open up another command prompt and then run it as administrator and then enter an administrator account to pass the UAC. And then once we've got an administrator command prompt, we can run the same command again, which is GP result dash R. And then if we scroll up to the top, we can see that it's now running it for the administrator account. And then we have computer settings and then we can see which group policy objects are being applied to the computer. And in this case, I've got a block removable storage GPO, which is being applied to the computer. So it impacts any user that logs on as well as the default domain policy. And there is nothing that's being filtered out. Now this method just shows which group policies are being applied and it doesn't show any of the settings. So what we can do is if I come back to the original command prompt, which we ran against the user, and then if I just change the directory to the desktop folder, what we can run is we can run GP result. We can run GP result dash H and then call this user gpo.html. And then what this will do is this will generate the report and store it as a HTML file on the desktop. And then if we open up that file, it gives us a full list of the GPOs that are being applied and all of their settings. So for example, I can see that the session that I'm currently logged into is getting prohibited access to the control panel and it's being applied by the block control panel GPO. I can also see there's a map drive being applied by the map drives GPO and I can see all the settings and then whatever other policies are being applied and their settings. I can also do the exact same thing on the administrator command prompt. So if I just clear the screen and then change the directory to my desktop. And then run the same command, which is GP result dash H and then call this one computer GPO HTML. That will again generate the report. And then if I open up that report, I can then see all of the computer GPO settings that are being applied and which GPO it is that's being applied. So I can see that these password settings are coming from the default domain policy. And then I've also got removable storage access that is being denied. And that is coming from the block removable storage GPO and loads more information about which group policies are being applied. So that's how you can use the GP result command to see which group policy objects are being applied to the logged in user and computer and how to list all their group policy settings.